Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radon. Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. And tonight we got some Cruzan Estate Diamond Blackstrap Rum. Uh, distilled and blended um, to legendary rum by a name I can't pronounce, Master Distiller. Uh, it's an expertly blended oak notes with um, hints of molasses. 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof. Um, this Where I bought this at, there was one bottle I haven't seen. Apparently it's super limited batch kind mm. of thing. Cruzan, this is their higher end Cruzan. I think I paid 20 bucks for the bottle. Ooh. Which is a lot for rum, but it you, is. Yeah. Do you I mean, like that's, rum? That's dark. Do you yeah. like black straps? This Ooh. is for you if you do. Ooh. I like that. I actually do like black rum. It's it's. Smother. This is exceptionally dark rum. Wow. That is. That is a. Uh, molassy. That's Mala full. Mala that's Mala full. Mala Mala that's what that Mala is. Molassy. Molassy. Um, hey, look at that. The Ooh. color is black. Yes, I do enjoy me a good black rum. Can't see through it. Mm -mm. Not even held up to the light. Not even our studio lights. Oof. Very strong on the nose. Uh, yeah, very strong. It, 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 it's pushing the medicinal smell. It's the, very the, oaky. It, it's pushing the medicinal. This smells like liquid molasses. Yeah. Like out of a out of a jar. It's strong. Yeah, it's it's very it sounds it's it, it, it smells like it's going to be potent. Let's put it a little bit of alcohol. A little bit. Not, not. It's not super strong on the alcohol. The the molasses is like coming Whoa. up, coming up and grabbing the molasses and being like, "You will be mine." Taste yeah. that. Then, then again, I don't know what straight molasses smells like, so we'll give this a taste now. That is potent. The wood is impressive in there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's woody. It's sweet. The wood is the wood is an understatement. That yeah, is that is straight up. It's it tastes like it tastes like heavily aged oakiness. Caramel, molasses. Uh, it's, it's it it tastes like okay. You mentioned heavily aged oak, oakiness. This is what like if you took if you added some maple syrup, added rum, and then aged it in a barrel. I think this is this would be what you get because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the molasses flavor is very strong. It hits a lot of it, it hits a lot of strong points on the tongue for me. Um, that you know what this tastes like? It tastes like those Hungarian uh, smoked oak cubes. I'm glad you've eaten one of those. Uh, mm. I, I didn't eat one. You just kind of swashed it in your mouth for a I bit. Just, yeah, swash it around a little bit. Um, it that's what it that's what it reminds me of. Just. It clicked in my brain. It's impressive, like the amount of I've, I haven't never had that much wood in a um, rum for sure. Yeah, I would sip this. This I, is this is complicated enough to sip for sure. Oh yeah. Oh I think yeah. With such a strong flavor, we were gonna go with Coke, but we're gonna try L8 ginger ale. I think we'll yeah. complement this a little bit. I like better. it. Yeah. L8 goes with a lot of this things, is, and yes. it's almost that would almost be <laughs> a dark and stormy. <laughs> it just doesn't even affect the color barely. No. Like this is this is this is like the Vanta Black of rum. It's it's, <laughs> it's still darker than Coke, even with a mixed half. Oh of yeah, no. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try this mixed. Good choice. Right. Good choice. It's still. I want to point out. It's still essentially the same color. It's just that you can see through it now. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, vaguely. That woodiness is still really prominent in there. It is. It is very. But the ginger ale is nice. It's busy. Oh, I like the spiciness I mean, with the ginger. I, I barely taste the ginger ale though. Mm. I mean, it's it's pow like the molasses. Is, I feel like it's even stronger with the ginger ale. A little bit, yeah, I mean, because it just it, it brings out the sweetness. That I there. have like I, I have like I, a fourth of mine. You can see, it just like stains the bottle. Mm. It's 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 thick. It's got legs. Like a fourth of mine is actually that. Yeah. Like seventy five percent of this is ginger ale. <laughs> All right, let's do that. That's I, I put about 50, 50 So let's. A little more ginger. That's about one to that's one to four right there, and it's barely Coca Cola colored. Man, I I think it's I think it's still good. Uh, I think it's better straight. It's though. still like mostly wood, even with that much in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I mean, like I taste the ginger ale more, but yeah, the the woody and the uh, that mapleiness is still shining through oh, very yeah. brightly. So I can only imagine what this would taste with, with like a Coke. Yeah. All right, so let's rate this straight. Yeah. It's gonna be super sweet. Or some Goslings. <clears throat> Let's oh, yeah. this straight. So okay. straight, up, straight. Uh, straight. Uh, I think I've got to give it like a like a an eight. This is good straight. I would sip this. This is um, this is gonna be a bar king for sure. This is Cruzan's mm -hmm. best. Uh, Throw this in a bar. I don't think we'll ever see this again, man. I got this in Asheville, and I didn't. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. might, it might just be something. Uh, it is the Stiller's collection, so yeah. This will be a nice bottle. Oh yeah. Bottle. Oh yeah. Fuzzy. Um, I gotta give this 
nine and a half. Like, it, this has been one of the best rums I've ever tasted. Um, I, I, I would actually put this right up there with. Um, this is gonna sound. This is gonna sound silly, but the uh, Kirkland's rum. Mm, the Kirkland's rum was actually pretty yes. decent. Yeah, way, I was surprised. Uh, I mean, it, well, I, I, I mean, it, it's way better than the Kirkland's rum right there. I'll give it that much. But I consider the Kirkland's rum to be pretty damn good. Yeah, the and, Kirkland's rum and, is above average for yeah, sure. Yeah, and you know I drink you know Captain or Kraken usually. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely better than Kraken, hands down. That's for sure. Oh yeah, Kraken um, Black can't, doesn't really hold a candle. This at yeah. all? No, no, no. Uh, it, it's just this. Wow, this is. So, it's a, it's a eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight mm -hmm. and a half mm -hmm. uh, straight. Uh, I'm gonna stick with eight and a half mix too. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I uh, think it's good either way. Yeah. Which I, you can't say that for a lot of runs. Uh, yeah, that, and I gotta I gotta say the same. It's just mixed. It's pretty. It's pretty much the same. Um, maybe if you if you do mix it with something different, I feel like I feel like with what you mix it with is going to bring out different different flavors. The flavor is so strong in it. No matter what you mix it with, you're still going to get that wood and caramel. Yeah. Like because I mix one and four, and it's still the prominent flavor in yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for it's sure. Unlike some rums where you get the coke, it's just a hint. Yeah. But I mean, it sticks in there for that sure. Oh yeah. Radar. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it an eight as a mixer. It's still very good. Uh, I like it a lot. Um. I don't know whether I want to have this as a mixer or straight now. Now that I've had it both ways, it's it's yeah. good both ways. I think it needs some ice cubes. Per personally, I think yeah, you, you drink this on the rocks straight. Oh yeah, just two, yeah, you could two just, fingers. You could drink this at room temperature. I mean, yeah, it's nice room temperature, which yeah. is what we have it now. All right. Well, <clears throat> that's been our episode. If there's something else you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Or where they hit that like button. I'm Special K. Uh, and I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.